In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out your projects here in GarageBand. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music and I do that through tips and tricks and tutorial videos just like this one. So if that sounds like your bag, consider subscribing. We're going to stop that one but we are here in GarageBand and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about fading out and fading in using both the automated fade out as well as automation to fade in and fade out your tracks right here in GarageBand. Let's jump in and take a look. Now, yes, I did cheat in the intro there and I used my mixer to fade in and fade out. However, I'm gonna show you how to do this using GarageBand. The first thing I'm gonna show you is fading out at the end of a project because that's the simplest thing to do. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to fade in either an individual track or your entire song. So let's jump in first and learn how to fade out using the built-in fade out option here in GarageBand. So here we are at the end of our project. At the moment, the outro sounds like this. So there's no fade out, there's nothing taking it down there. If we wanna fade out the end of this or any other project in GarageBand, all we need to do is tap here on the settings option and here we go, there's fade out. It's really as simple as this. We tap on fade out and now it won't show anything, but when we play this back, it will actually gently fade down the end of all of these tracks. So this project has all of these tracks, although there's only a few of them playing at the end, but it will fade them all out. Let's show that now. So you can hear there that it just fades it down and it stops at the end. Now that is the simplest and easiest way to fade out, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of control. So let's jump in and show you now how to use automation to fade out tracks. So first of all, we're going to jump in here and turn off the fade out option so it doesn't fade out. Now, let's just particularly choose, particularly, these clarinet tracks because these are the ones I wanna focus in on because these are the ones that are playing the melody here at the end. So we'll hit play on these two. So if we wanted to fade out these tracks right here at the end, but we wanted to control when and how quickly they fade out, fade out we're gonna use automation. So to do that, we tap here on the actual icon here. Don't tap out here on the waveform, tap on the icon of the instrument and then tap on automation. This is gonna open up your automation lanes and I've got a heap of videos all about automation. There's more of them linked down in the description. We're going to slide in the top left here to turn on automation. And then if we scroll on in and zoom in on this one, one, we can choose when we want to bring the volume down. So say we want to bring it down from about here, we just tap there and then we just tap again at the end and say we want to bring this one down as well. We tap there, we tap at the end. Now all we need to do is turn it off in the top left corner here and we drag this one down all the way down, drag this one down all the way down, grab it, drag all the way down and then when we play these back, when we hit this point, they will fade and gently they're gone. And again, you can adjust this. You can adjust the end point by dragging these further down. You can adjust the fade point by dragging these up and down and you get complete control. And this is great because if you have a bunch of tracks that you want to fade out, you can actually make them fade out at different points. So if you want your bass to go all the way through to the end, but you want other instruments to fade out earlier, you can choose which instruments you fade out at the end using automation. Now we can use this exact same method to fade in an instrument at the start of our track. So let's do that here. We'll do this with this digital wave. We'll solo it at the moment. It just jumps straight in and sounds like this. So what if we didn't want this to come in straight away? We wanted it to slowly ease in. Well, all we need to do is tap right here again, not out here, but out here. Tap on that one, tap on automation, and then we bring in our automation options. We tap, we slide across in the top left corner, and then we can actually bring it in by tapping here, there, and then tap there where we want it to come in. Turn it off in the top left corner, drag this one down, and then this one can be wherever we want it. So if we want it to slowly fade in, let's just pretend we want it to fade in right up here to bar number five, and we hit play. Here it comes. There you go, that's actually a pretty cool sound. And then if we bring this in with the rest of our track, it sounds like this. And 
we can do that with every different track. If we wanted to bring each track in differently, we can actually do that. Now that's great if we want to fade out or fade in individual tracks, but you're probably saying, Pete, most of the time I want to fade in my whole song and I want to fade out my whole song, but I don't want to use this ginchy little automated fade out here that GarageBand gives me. How do I get better control? That's what I'm going to show you now. So to get a more customized fade in and fade out of the entire song, what we need to do is actually export the song and then bring it back into our project. How do we do that? Well, we tap here to go back to my songs. Now here it is, lucky version one, number two. We tap on select in the top right corner. We tap this one down the bottom left here. We tap on share and we share this as a song. We're going to do an uncompressed wave file, 44.1, 24-bit. We'll tap on share here. This is going to export this song. I'm going to tap on open in because because this is going to export it. And then what we're gonna do is save this as a WAV file back into this same folder. We're gonna then import it back into our project. And then that is the file that we're going to fade in and fade out. So let's wait for this to export and then we'll jump back in and take a look. Okay, we're exported and now we're gonna tap save to files. And where I wanna put this is not there, but I wanna put it actually in my, on my iPad, my GarageBand, and in my GarageBand file transfer, because this is going to be where I can import it straight back into my project. So I'm gonna hit save. That saved that WAV file out there. I just hit done in the top right corner. We go back into my project. And once it loads back up again, you can see here in the top right, we've now got loops that we can bring in. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the project. I'm going to tap on the loops icon here. And here we go. It's actually exported it a few times. I've definitely not done some tests here. And then we're going to tap and hold and drag this WAV file into a blank track. And there we go. There is our complete song. So you're probably ahead of me here, but let's now jump in and show you how we can automate the fade in and the fade out of this complete song. So the first thing we want to do is solo so we don't get all the other tracks and we'll just test it. We'll just come here to the start of the track like so and hit play. There we are. We're good to go. We've left in one of those fade ins on the other track. But what we can do here, we'll just zoom in a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll tap right here on the microphone icon. We're going to tap on automation. And now that we've exported this song, we've finished the project, we've exported, Im exported and imported the song, we can actually set our automation. So in the top left corner, we slide that one on. And let's just say we wanted to tap on here and then tap on here and bring it in slowly up to that point. We can then turn off in the top left corner, drag this one down, and let's take a listen now to the start of this song, now that we have our fade in. Bring it up. There you go. And again, you can adjust this. You can make it fade in longer or shorter, and you can adjust the start point and the end point. What about our fade out? Well, it's as simple as this. And this is probably what you'll use the most in all honesty is here at the end. If we want to fade out again in the top left, we slide that on to create automation points. We tap here. We tap here at the end of the track like that. We turn off our automation points and then we drag down on this one. And then here at the end of our song, once we finish, we start fading that volume down. And there it goes, fading down slowly, very slowly. And we're almost done. Now, if we wanted that to be quicker, all we need to do is bring it back here and it will fade between there and there. If we want it to fade later, we grab this, we drag it across, and then we only get the fade right here at the end. And it's as simple as that. So there you go. You can fade in and out in two ways. You can fade here using the standard fade out. That's not going to be super useful for a lot of reasons. But if you use automation, you can fade in, you can fade back out again. You can do it on the whole track like that. You can do it on individual tracks in your project. There's a heap of options here. I hope you found this useful. There's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping up there on the Studio Live Today icon. And I'll see you next time.